Tim here with the Bloody Mix. So I got a new radio and I think my JR is going to be sitting on the shelf for a while. Um, not that there is anything really wrong with it, it just doesn't have the same features that I've got on my new 9XR. I found a couple of things that are really easy once you know how to do them, uh, but they weren't that easy to figure out. Uh, sorry Eternity, but an online manual is not just the best way to do things, but I did, I did finally read it. Okay, so we're going to turn this thing on. Right now, as we can see, it's set up for my Puddle Twin. There's a thousand videos that show you that. This one is specifically for the safety switch. I wanted to use the throttle cutoff right here to disable my throttle or enable it so that I can uh, not have to worry about bumping my throttle stick while carrying a 60-inch wingspan plane and uh, kicking my throttles on, cutting my arm off. So to do that, we can see here that when I hit this, when I kick my throttle up, nothing happens. Flip my switch up, throttle control is good. Here's how you do it. We go into our uh, model menus. We zip on across to page 10 out of 11, which is safety switches. For the lower throttle switch, when I say lower, I mean the lower position. That's exclamation throttle. Uh, up is non-exclamation throttle. And I want the full down value. Uh, on a, a throttle is not a servo. It doesn't have a center position. We go zero throttle to full throttle. Center is still half throttle. Uh, so we want full down on our trim. That's where it lands. Uh, this one happens to be twin motors. So I did the same thing on channel 6 where I've got my other speed control. Uh, and that's because I have differential throttle, but that's a whole other video. So in any case, there it is. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, safe throttle.